With John Elridge. John, before we went to the break, I was talking about Zap Prayer. A lot of Christians have this. What is it and why does that not work? Well, here, people think prayer works like this. God's all-powerful. I have a need. All I have to do is shoot up a quick prayer, and he's just going to zap the answer. And so if he does zap it, it's not going to happen. But you look at the great prayer stories in Scripture, Elijah on Mount Carmel, or the um, freeing Peter from prison in the book of Acts, chapter 12. The, the people are praying over time. It's sticking with it. It's perseverance. Jesus in Gethsemane, three times, right? He goes back to the Father. It's not a quick, Father, I pray you'd comfort me. It's sticking with it. See, friends, prayer is very much like the gospel. God could just zap the gospel to the whole world. He could seize every television station and every radio and the Internet and just broadcast the gospel. He doesn't work like that. He works like this. He works life to life, one on one. He uses us. We get to be his partners in prayer. I know in traveling around with the Voice of the Martyrs, and I've met many Muslims that have come to know Jesus through dreams and visions. So the supernatural does happen. God does, you know, break in in dramatic ways. But I think in reality, uh, and what we see from experience is that he does want to partner with us. And, and you talk about, I like this quote from your book, Moving Mountains, which, by the way, uh, with your best gift to this ministry, we want to get this book into your hands. But you say, think of all the things you love in the world, then remind yourself that that is the God that made all these things. So we are praying to the God that created the billions and billions of stars and galaxies you know, he's, and you say, God is not too small. Exactly, right. It's so important. Where are you looking when you are praying, right? Are, are you looking at the heartbreak? Are you looking at the overwhelming need? Or do you turn your attention to God? And for me, nature helps. Beauty helps. Look at the world he made, the oceans and the mountains. And it reminds me, God is good. God is powerful. God does care. And it helps me in my prayer. So you go to your prayer, you see Jesus. The one, again, we're in Holy Week, we're looking, you know, we remember what happened on the cross. We also celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the beginning of the church when the Holy Spirit would come 40 days later. So the key then, as I understand it, and this moving mountains and all the rest of that, is that in the focus on Jesus, we can do, as the Bible says, more than we could imagine uh, because he's there. So how important then, John, to keep that passion? How do we do that? How do we keep that confidence? Come back to your place with Christ. You have been crucified with Christ and your sins are completely gone. You have been raised with Christ and you have his life in you now, okay? This isn't about just you gutting it out. You have the life of God with you. And friends, Ephesians 2, 6 you have been raised with Christ and seated with him in his authority. That's why we pray in Jesus' name. You have the authority of Jesus to operate here in the earth, particularly in your prayers. That's, that's powerful stuff, gang. We have many people, John, watching that don't know Jesus. And as we just wrap up this segment, tell me the difference between religion and a relationship with Jesus. Religion is trying to get your act together so God will love you. Jesus says, look, I've taken care of all your faults. I've taken care of all your failures. You are loved and you are forgiven. Now, let's come into a relationship with one another. Let me in your life. Let me love you. Let me guide you. Let me walk with you. That's Christianity. You know, if you're watching today and you're saying, you know what, I've never experienced Jesus. Maybe I've had religion. Uh, maybe I was going to church at one time. I quit going. We have people that love Jesus and they're on the other side of our prayer lines, always wanting to talk anytime, any time of the night. You may be watching this broadcast maybe five years after we did it. You're watching it on the Internet. And you just happen to be there. People standing by to talk to you, 1-866-273-4444, our prayer lines. John, always great to see you and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks, Greg. Great to be with you.